What's going on guys, Spartan Willy here and today I'm going to show you how to install the F1 Manager 2020 mod for your Motorsport Manager game so you have all the 2020 drivers and cars. Okay, so we're going to start off where you start off with most Steam Workshop add-ons is on the Steam Workshop itself, obviously. Now, this mod is will be in the description and it's made by Eddie Mark Wick, as you can see here. So all credit goes to him. I do not own this mod or have any stake in this mod. I didn't help develop it at all. Um, it's all up to Eddie and his team or himself. I'm not really sure. But yeah, fair play to him, fantastic work for the community. But I'm just going to show you how to install it today. So all you got to do is hit subscribe, like that, subscribed, and then the next steps are a bit more complicated than that, and we'll get into some other stuff after that as well. But just hit subscribe for now, and your Steam will download it onto your Motorsport Manager game, and we'll continue when it's finished downloading. Okay, my Motorsport Manager Workshop content has just finished downloading, so now we're going to need to navigate to our Motorsport Manager game directory. Now, if you just go to your library on Steam, find your Motorsport Manager in the left with all your games, right click it and go down here on the bottom option to properties. Now you want to go to the local files tab below updates and below general. So the third one and at the top here, it should say browse right next to the size of local files. So hit that button and it will come up with a Windows Explorer. Now this is the easiest way to get to your Steam directory for your games. It will depend on where you install your Steam game, so I can't give a definite answer regarding the path at the top here, but wherever you install your Steam games or your Steam files is where that will be. But that is the easiest way you can get to your Steam files. Okay, so now we're going to work backwards a little bit because we need to go to our Steam Workshop files. So as the top here, as you can see here, we're in Steam games, well, mine Steam games, yours will probably be something different, but Steam apps, common, Motorsport manager. Now we're going to click back to Steam apps here, and it's got like common, um, depot cache, downloading music, blah, blah, blah. We're going to click on workshop and go content. And now the Motorsport manager number is 415200. So right here, so 415200. And as you see here, we're in the Motorsport Manager Workshop folder. Okay, so now we're going to want to navigate to the Mod ID. Now, the Mod ID, ID is displayed at the top of the workshop here. I see 216884 Now, go back over here. There's only one number that starts with two, so that's obviously that one. And then we want to click on... So we're right now, we're in the actual folder of the mod we just clicked subscribe for. Now we want to go to extras and as you see here there's actually a mod guide to help you install it. So I'll also walk you through the mod guide but if you ever get lost there is actually a mod guide in the workshop folder files. Alright next up we're going to need to go to our game directory again. So we're going to need two windows open, one for the mod and one for the game directory so we can drag some of these into the game directory. So I go back to our Steam, right click Most Want Manager Properties, Local Files and Browse. It's exactly what we did at the start. We're just doing that again. So then we have one window for the game directory and one for the mod. Okay, so now we're going to want to make a backup of our game. Just in case we want to go back to play default Motorsport Manager. Almost said Foot Manager then. Uh, I've probably said it three times this video, but I am talking about Motorsport Manager. So go on mm underscore data. And then up the top here, there's a manage file, file here. So click on that. And the assembly dash C sharp dot DLL, the second one from the top there, we're going to back that up. So just copy it out like so, and then just paste it into another file. And we want to leave the first pass ones. So these ones here, don't worry about them. Just get this one here. And then go back to your mm underscore data file and go scroll down past all these levels and under level 127 here, before the shared assets, there's one called resources.assets. Back that up as well. Basically, we're just backing up the files that we're going to replace with the mod. So we want to get rid of the mod. We just put back the default game files and it'll work as normal. But go down here to shared assets 76. We're going to want to back that up as well. So this one here. Basically, that's just a loading screen. So it is actually an optional. These don't need to be installed for the mod to work. But if you want the loading screen, you're going to, you want to back that up and replace it. Now, we're also going to want to backup and replace shared assets 3 to 36 this is a massive part of the mod it's actually all the track like 
hiking in sponsors and stuff. So if you want your track to look like the real sort of sponsor layouts and stuff like that, you want to back up 3 to 36. So just go down here and go to 36 and back it all up. And you can replace it when you... You don't really need the RES, so it's probably easy just to back them up and drag them back in than manually selecting like that. Look, it's up to you. You can manually select all the assets without the .res, but you know I'm just going to do it all for simplicity's sake, just so you can shift select like that. So back up all those files I just told you. I'll put a list on screen now, and we'll get into installing the mod. All right, so I've just put together a little backup here, and now for your eagle-eyed viewers, if you've noticed that my date modified's a bit out of whack with my assembly C sharp compared to all the others, because I've just freshly installed my game on four days ago. Tell, but um, I did actually install a mod for the video I did what came out yesterday for the start date, so that's just the 2020 start date. So my assembly C sharp's a bit different, but yours should all be the same. But anyway, if that's only if you notice, I just sort of thought I'd explain it. But as you there, I've copied out and pasted a backup of all the files I just went through there in our little list. And and see, I got the res files there, but you can take them out like I've just taken them out then. But, but yeah, finally moving on to the installation now. Okay, now finally installing it. I feel like this is the simplest bit after all that. I feel like I've been talking for ages, but we're in back in our mod folder that came with the mod when we subscribed in the extras folder that we navigated to at the start. And now it's just a simple drag and drop. Now you're going to want to listen very carefully if you're unsure because this is why with my very building Ferrari check that I have, if you haven't already seen it, my start date was so off and I was stuck with Charles Leclerc for eight years. I mean, he's a great driver, don't get me wrong. But your contracts would be way out of whack if you don't do this part very carefully. So you see this assembly C sharp, just want to copy that. See, I sort of put them all straight into the MM underscore data. I thought I, I was done with it. But you want to put this especially in your managed. So it replaces this because if you put it in here, it won't work. The game just won't recognize it. So put it in there and just say replace the file in the destination like so. And that's installed there. And now with the rest in the extras, just these ones here, copy. So resource assets, all the shared assets. Obviously the shared assets are, recommend, um, are optional, but I recommend them because it's your track decals. It helps with the immersion a little bit. Loading screen is eh, up to you. But go into your mm underscore data. So back here with like all the subfolders. So the first one you go in when you go mm underscore data and just paste the rest in there and go replace the files in the destination. Like so. And as you there, that is the mod officially installed. So you're all done now. We're going to jump to the game and I'll show you that it's installed. Okay, so now that we're in our Motorsport Manager game, if we just click on new career, just like normal. Start the career with no tutorials. You can have it on if you want. Just hit this button here. Make F1 2020 mod active. I recommend long races just as a general rule. And then you're pretty much done. So it's actually modified the game files. So half the mod is activated by that on button. And the other half is already in the game files. Okay, so when you select a team, create a team works perfect with this mod. Uh, it's actually been an enhanced to reflect like real life investors and stuff. But with select team here, they have the European formula, alternate single seat, like Formula E and IndyCar, and World Endurance. But we're going to go F1, F2, and F3. And see, that's the loading screen that we installed. And I see there, all the cars from the real life season are in the game now. Okay, I've just jumped into a crew mode of Ferrari to check the start date, just to make sure the mod is completely installed, because I have messed that up in the past with my rebuilding Ferrari series. And as you there, 1st of March 2020, so it's not 2016, the drivers are not 16 and contracted on to like 7 years in the future, so that is beautiful, we've installed it correctly, contracts reflect real contracts, Leclerc already has a long contract as you can see there, so when you add that on to 4 years as well, that gets pretty pretty long. But yeah, that is the mod completely installed. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. It helps videos out so much. Consider subscribing to the channel for other motorsport manager and football manager related content. And um, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Rebuilding Ferrari series. It's in the description. And thank you for watching. Leave any comments, questions, anything you need down in the comment section below as well.